Hey YouTubers, today I will make I will make a video of my setup. So my my setup is basically pretty it's pretty simple. It's just a desk, desktop, monitor and keyboard and more all my peripherals. So yeah. So let's start off with uh my 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 casing. So my casing is a Cool Master Elite three one one. So you can see there is a side panel I also have an LED inside that yeah, it's custom so yeah it, it has three three SATA, SATA 5.25 two you can put two card readers and it has two HDD I mean SATA 3.3.5 so you can put two HDD and also one SSD so let's check out my computer parts so firstly we have our motherboard this motherboard the the maximum RAM slots the, the, it has two RAM slots so you can put two RAM slots RAM uh, the maximum RAM you can put a 16 gigabyte so you can you could also put a PCI Express graphic card. It has four SATA, two six G gigabyte, and two three gigabyte. So you can see there. So it, so my motherboard is an ASUS H eight one MD. Right now it's running a processor the processor i5-4460 it's an intel as well refreshed so it's quite fast it's enough for my system can run games smoothly at 60 fps you can see there it's using a stock cooler uh, clocked at 3.2 gigahertz and yeah and down here we have a a GeForce, uh, wait, I don't think it's, uh, yes, it's a GeForce GT740. I got this brand is LaTeX, it's 2GB DDR5, so it's faster than the DDR3. One thing I don't like about this graphic card is the HDMI. The HDMI, they put in a mini HDMI. And I want to use a regular HDMI, so it's quite hard for me. If I wanted to connect, if I wanted to connect my computer at to a TV, so it's got two DVI. So that's what I'm using right now. It doesn't need any PCI connector. It's running at 64 watts, the maximum, the maximum wattage. And so you can see there it's a LaTeX. So now the component that is powering the whole computer, that is the power supply. The power, I'm using FSP Hexa 550. It's enough because I'm not going to put tons of HDD and I'm not going to use an expensive graphic card and also I'm not going to over I'm not going to overclock my CPU so you can see it's a little bit untidy because this gra this power supply is a non modular it'd be neater if I had a modular full modular so you can see it's, cool. it's really messy up here we have my RAM that is a Kingston 4GB it's clocked at 1600 1, 1, MHz it's enough to play games but when you're running GTA 5 you're likely to have your RAM used until 3.6 GB so as I said it's a 4GB GB now with my my hard drive 
is a one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue. It's, it's, it's really it's it's affordable for anyone, and it's quite fast. But I didn't use SSD because SSD I don't I didn't have the budget budget for it. So it's not that fast when you boot it up. As for my LED, I use normal LED strip, a uh, thirty cm. So it's an RGB. So, so let me show you when it changes. Let me show you change. See, can come green, blue. Can even fa uh, flash, even strobe, just like those graphic cards in expensive, expensive, high-end build. So it's quite awesome. Makes your PC. Cool. So now I would want to show you my peripherals. That is my dongle. This is where I get the internet from. It's a 300 megabytes per second TP, TP link. It's quite awesome. So you can get wireless. So I'm sick of using Ethernet. So, as for my headphone, I am using a Sony, Sony regular headphone that you use for hearing music. So it's using a stereo jack. So yeah, the noise is just normal, not that great. So my, here is my controller. It's a cheap controller that I bought, a few bucks. Wait, it's not bu in bucks, but it can be used for, to play games. It's wired, so that's the thing that I don't like. Moving on to my monitor. Is an is a Philips twenty three point six inch. It's nine twenty by ten eighty, so it's a ten eighty monitor, ten eighty p monitor. So at back there is one DVI and one VGA. So there's no HDMI. And there's no sound. You'd have to use a speaker, either a speaker or, or a headphone. For the keyboard, I'm just using a normal Dell keyboard that many people use. And for my mouse, just a normal mouse that nobody knows. And that is a USB hub. So for my operating system, I'm I'm running a Windows 7 Professional, 64 bit. So you can see, I have, yeah, a Windows 7 Pro, 64 bit. For recording, I use Open Broadcaster software. For editing, I use Movie Maker. For benchmarking, I use fraps. So